Today on Beer Scientist, we'll be starting our secondary fermentation of our hoppy amber ale. Here we have our hoppy amber ale after seven days of fermentation. What we're going to do is we're going to take this hoppy amber ale and siphon it using a two-piece siphon into a five-gallon glass carboy. This is a clean glass carboy. And the reason we're siphoning our hoppy amber ale is to separate the batch away from the sediment. So this hoppy amber ale has produced protein from the yeast fermenting as well as random particles that existed from the batch creation. That's produced sediment in the bottom and on the sides of this primary fermentation bucket. So we're going to go ahead, siphon the batch away from those particles to give us a clean tasting beer, a clear beer. Let's go ahead and put the siphon into our batch, get a few good pumps on the siphon to get a nice airtight flow. So there we have it. We've started our siphon, we're siphoning the batch into our secondary fermenter. We fully siphoned our hoppy amber ale from our primary fermentation bucket to our secondary fermentation carb. All we need to do now is plug this carboy with a rubber stopper and a three-piece airlock, put it back into the pantry to ferment for another seven days. Here you can see the sediment that we've separated away from our hoppy amber ale. So you can see it's a thick mixture of proteins and other particles that are in our beer. We've gone ahead and put our hoppy amber back into the pantry, a dark dry place to let it ferment for another seven days. This has been the secondary fermentation of our hoppy amber.